YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Ali D'Andrea. I'm a hunter, an angler, a public lands advocate, and lover of all things outdoors. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are talking all about bow draw weight. Are you pulling too much weight? And how do you know if it's too much? I'm going to get into all of that today. But first, I feel like I need the disclaimer of I'm still at my parents' house for the holidays. I'm literally on their back deck filming this video and I'm feeling a little weird. <laughs> but I hope that you stick around and enjoy because I have a lot of good information for you. So let's get started. To give you a little background, I am a hunter. So I'm talking specifically for bow hunters out there, people who are shooting target archery for fun, and I'm not talking about competition archers, just to put that disclaimer out there. The reason why I feel like I'm qualified to <laughs> share all of this information with you guys is because I am guilty of having my bow poundage way too high for me. And as I grow as an archer and a bow hunter, I've learned a couple things along the way. Historically, I have always kept my draw weight lower throughout the off season, AKA not during hunting season. And then come August, I crank it up and that's what I do to get ready for hunting season. And although I haven't had any issues per se, it feels like an unhealthy cycle that I go through. And I finally asked myself the question, why? Why am I trying to increase my bow poundage to a weight that is ultimately uncomfortable for me if it's not really benefiting the end product, which is I'm trying to hunt and kill an animal. Now, of course, if you increase your bow poundage, your arrows are going to shoot faster and that is beneficial for hunting. But if you don't shoot the animal in the vitals, meaning if your accuracy is off, then it doesn't matter how fast your bow shoots. Also, because you may be struggling to pull your bow back by lifting it into the sky, you are adding additional movement to your draw cycle, which in turn could get you busted by that animal that you're pursuing. And lastly, you want to keep your shoulders healthy. I started having minor shoulder issues in high school. I was a volleyball player, I was a swimmer. I've always, you know, mm. and on top of that, I sleep on my side and my right shoulder particularly always gives me issues. So you'll notice when I draw my bow, I keep my elbow low. This is to protect my shoulder. I'm finally ready to rehab this thing, bring it back to good health, and be able to draw my bow the proper way, if you will. So the point is having a draw weight that is too heavy is going to cause trauma to your shoulder and over the long term of your lifespan, you may end up with some bad shoulder issues. So to avoid that, keep that draw weight at a healthy weight for you. There are three signs that you are drawing too much bow weight. And your first clue starts at your head. As you draw back, if you notice that your head tilts away from your bow, it's an indicator that you could be pulling too much weight. Typically, if your head is moving away from the target, your hips are then moving toward the target. And that is the second big red flag that you are pulling too much weight. Now the third and final sign that you are pulling too much draw weight is if you raise your bow up and you're drawing towards the sky. It becomes easier to draw your bow when it's pointed upward. So if you have to do that in order to draw it back, it's a sign that you, my friend, are pulling too much weight. 
So now you know how you can tell whether you are pulling too much weight and a little bit about why it's so important to pull a weight that's actually right for you. Now let's talk a little bit about what you can do. So you filmed yourself, you see that those hips are flying forward, the arm is in the air, and your head's leaning back. You're, you look like a dancer on Broadway. <laughs> this is so obvious, I hate that I'm saying it, but just decrease your bow poundage and stick with it lower. That's all you gotta do. Second, also obvious, if you decrease your bow poundage as much as, much as you can and you're still struggling, not even struggling because I think that's what trips a lot of people up. They feel like they're not actually struggling to draw the bow even though they are doing those movements that indicate that you actually are. So let me change that term. If the draw weight is still too much, even after decreasing your bow poundage all the way, you can look at buying new limbs. It's not as expensive as buying an entire new bow and it will keep you more comfortable, protect your shoulders, all that good stuff. Editing Alley here, I forgot to add another remedy to the situation. You can also exercise to build up the muscles in your upper back and in your shoulder to help you draw a higher weight on your bow. This obviously is not a short-term fix. This will take a lot of time. This will take a lot of dedication, but it is an option nonetheless. Pull-ups are by far my favorite upper body exercise. I'm not going to go into any more depth on the type of exercises that you can do, but just a sweet little note from your editing alley. Now for my newbie archers and bow hunters, when you first draw a bow back, it's probably going to be very difficult because your body is not used to the movement. Ooh, I think I have some boogies. <laughs> but usually you're able to increase your poundage relatively quickly. So for example, when I first started, I was pulling 30 pounds and I had a friend with a bow that was set at 50 pounds and that was way too much i couldn't even draw the bow halfway after just a couple of weeks i was drawing 50 pounds no problem now when i say no problem i was still actually doing some of those things to get it back but at the time i thought it was no problem so a good tip for a new archer or bow hunter would be to buy a bow that is highly adjustable. Typically these are called junior bows and they have a very wide range of draw weights. My first bow ranged from 15 pounds to 70 pounds. So as I was learning, I could start low and then increase without having to buy new limbs. Another thing I want to mention for my new hunters, some states do have minimum draw weights for archery hunters and it's usually somewhere between 40 to 45 pounds. So make sure to check the regulations in the state that you are hunting. So you might not have a choice if you can't draw 45 pounds, you may not be able to hunt. So that's just something to put on the table too. And that, my friends, is it for this video. I hope that you learned something and that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my backyard sessions at my parents' house. I have notoriously pulled draw weights that are too heavy for me for years. So I just wanted to put this out there to try and help someone who is like me because I'm on this quest to just become a better person at everything that I do, even though I'm not good at anything that I do. You feel me? Anyways, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.